Right, here's another example of a lineman not being able to stop a running back that runs right through his arm just because the offensive lineman is engaged and there are no animations that allow the defensive lineman to reach an arm out to try to slow down the running back. Adrian Peterson runs right through Williams's left arm and it has absolutely no effect on him at all except that he slightly shifts a little bit to the side. He slows down a little bit but you know this lineman should be able to reach out and try to grab him. Heck, he should be able to reach out and swat the ball right out of Adrian Peterson's hand because he's only holding it one-handed and has it far away from his body. But uh, none of those things happen because the game simply... Defensive linemen only have two states, engaged and not engaged. And when they are engaged, they cannot participate in the play in any meaningful way which is very irritating, especially if you are playing as a defensive lineman or if you're a defensive lineman in, like, say, the uh, superstar mode because you just cannot make plays like this at all. The game does not allow it. This is something that definitely needs to be fixed in future years of the game. Okay, so when I talk about having defensive linemen that can reach through blocks for to try to make tackles against runners. This is the sort of thing that I'm talking about. This is recorded from the NFL Network uh, talking about the Bears and their upcoming game against the uh, Broncos. And I'm just going to play this uh, play for you real quick. And okay, so the player I want you to watch here is going to be number 59 for the Chiefs. Uh, I don't know his name offhand, but he's going to scrape across the formation. He's going to try to make a tackle on, uh, on the running back who I think is Marion Barber, because this was probably after Matt Forte came out of the game. See, right there. Right there. This is the sort of thing that I want to start seeing uh, in terms of defensive play in Madden and NCAA football. This guy is being engaged by the blocker. The blocker is pushing him, but he is reaching his arm into the gap to try to slow down the running back. Even though he's not going to bring the running back down, I want to see this sort of effort from the defensive lineman. And every now and then the defensive lineman should actually be able to get a hand on the running back and then reach around with his other hand and wrap up for the tackle. Or at least slow him down long enough for the other linebackers or defensive linemen to make a play on it. But, you know, he doesn't make the play here, but it ends up, it ends up being made in the secondary. You know, he, he the running back gets past him. But I'd at least like to see that sort of effort coming from defensive linemen every now and then. Alright, here's yet another animation that is strangely missing from EA's football games. And it's something that we see a lot of, you know, in actual football. And that is defensive linemen reaching for the quarterback's arm as they go for a sack and stripping him. We just never see that anymore. Instead, we see stuff like this, where the def uh, defensive lineman just wraps around the quarterback's waist. Every now and then, he does it just as the ball's getting off, and we get one of those wobbly duck passes. But what I'd really like to see is for Julius Peppers here to reach his right hand up towards Matt Ryan's arm and try to swap this ball off as he's going to throw, because Matt Ryan can't see him, has no idea he's coming. You know, this is a blindside tackle. This play should probably be a fumble. So this is an animation that I'd really like to see get put into these games in the future. Okay, so here's an excellent example of what I'm talking about when I say that I wish defensive linemen <clears throat> would try to uh, reach in and knock the ball out of the quarterback's hand when they're going for the sack. Uh, this is a replay from Super Bowl 42. Uh... Patriots and Giants, and uh, just watch what the defensive lineman does to Tom Brady here.
Notice how the defensive lineman reaches in for Tom Brady's hand as he's going for the sack and is able to strip the ball away from him. This is really common in football on all levels, and it leads to a lot of turnovers. See, this is what I'd like to see in Madden. This right here. Defensive lineman is coming around Tom Brady's backside, and he reaches around Brady's body with his right hand and smacks the ball right out of Tom Brady's hand as he's going back to throw. This leads to a fumble, which ends up being picked up by the defense. See right there reaching around the quarterback's body for the football. Tom Brady doesn't even see it coming. This is what I'd like to see in Madden. I'd like to see animations of defensive linemen doing this. The defensive line play in this game is, is pretty bad. I mean, there's a lot of places where the animations just don't work very well. And uh, here's one example of a situation that irritates me a lot. I showed examples of this uh, in the uh, NCAA game for this year, uh, pr uh, particularly in the uh, Campus Legend mode. Uh, playing as a defensive lineman, which is absolutely horrible. But what happens here is you're going to see this defensive lineman, McKinney, beat the blocker, basically run right by him, and then just as he's passing him, see, he's, he's beat. He's around the blocker. He is past the blocker. But then the game is going to force him to turn into the block, See right here, you know, he is behind the blocker. He has beaten the blocker. But he turns around and gets forced into this block-breaking animation. Instead of putting in an animation of the offensive lineman trying to reach out and grab the defensive lineman, they force the defensive lineman to have to rotate around and take on the blocks, which is really annoying, especially if you're the one controlling the uh, defensive lineman. Now, he ends up just, you know, pretty much throwing him to the ground and makes the sack here, but it's still really annoying. And there's a lot of situations where it can actually prevent you from making the play. And what really annoys me about situations like that is that the game does include perfectly acceptable alternative animations. Like, for example, this one, where the, line, where the defensive lineman is simply being blocked down. But what number 71 is doing to him, he's just pushing him from the side. See, that's a much more believable-looking block than the one that I just showed you, where the, offense, where the defensive lineman turns around to face the offensive lineman. Here he's actually being pushed from the side, and then it happens again with the other blocker. You know, that, I think, is a really, you know, good-looking sequence of blocks. You know, now, it would have been nicer if, uh, I think that's the fullback, or is it a pulling guard? Pulling guard. It'd be really nice if the pulling guard would have double-teamed on him, or, you know, actually done his job and gone upfield. Uh... But this is much better than watching the defensive lineman beat his uh, blocker and then all of a sudden turn around and start slapping it, uh, their hands against one another. You know, this looks much better. And then annoying, another annoying situation is with the bull rush animation, or a lot of the animations where the linemen just, you know, throw each other to the ground. There's just a complete lack of awareness on the part of the defensive lineman, which is the exact opposite of what we see from cornerbacks who are so aware that they can make blind interceptions. But, you know, you're going to watch this defensive lineman here make a bull rush, and then he is going to charge right into the running back, but can't do anything about it. The running back is able to just bounce off of him because there aren't any animations well, first of all, there aren't any animations of a running back getting barreled over by a bull-rushing defensive 
tackle who just knocked his blocker on his ass, uh, which should be present in the game. You know, he should probably be barreling over a die as well. Uh, but that doesn't happen. Instead, a die just bounces off of him, and uh, the defensive lineman, I think his name is Cody, isn't even able to, like, put up his hands or reach out and try to grab at the running back's ankles or, you know, legs or anything like that. He can't do anything until this bull rush animation is over. And this is really annoying when you're a defensive lineman because you just completely lose all control and there is absolutely nothing you can do at this moment to influence the play. Even though I'm right there where I need to be to make a play, you know, and then once the animation's over, then all of a sudden I'm able to, you know, the player's able to do something, and he almost, you know, kind of uh, warps into the tackle. This, tra You know, the transition isn't all that pretty. Uh, I do like the way that, that that particular group tackle looks with the, you know, with Cody lunging and then missing and then, you know, just rolling around. I, I like the way that that looks. Uh, the tackling animations in this game are much, much, much better than last year. Uh, but, I mean, you know, when you're a defensive lineman in a situation like this, there has to be something that you, that you can do. You know, you, more needs to be happening here than just the running back bouncing off of the lineman. I mean, he needs to stumble backwards or lose his footing or be barreled over, you know, and knocked onto the ground as well. You know, something needs... The, the running... What I want to see is I want to see the running back actually reacting to the collision instead of just looking like... You know, he's just making... I mean, it just looks like he's making a standard cut. It doesn't look like he's running into anything. You know, he's just... He's just juking. Now, there are some really good blocking animations in this game. You know, this exchange that you're about to see... You know, is something that I really like, where the uh, the def you know the defensive lineman here actually looks like he's. You know, there actually looks like there's a struggle this year, which is something that's been missing from previous years of the game, where the they just kind of lock arms and then you know kind of do a dance with one another. Uh, in this game, the blocking. You know, it looks a lot more like the players are actually competing with one another. There's pushing, they're shoving, they're slapping. You know, and that looks very good, and, and I really like this block here where, you know, the, the offensive lineman transitions into a cut as the running back gets near. Uh, you can see the defensive lineman is holding his ground and filling the gap. You know, that's something that I like to see that I'd, I'd like to see a lot more of. Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is a legal block, but, you know, I like that the offensive lineman is smart enough you know, to do that. That he sees that the defensive lineman is in, or realizes that the defensive lineman is in a better position and goes to make the cut. I like that. You know, the animation is a little bit clunky. You know, the transition is a little bit clunky. There's some sliding going on. Uh, but, you know, that sort of thing is, is tolerable. And, and this right here is actually what I was just talking about. This is an example of what blocking looked like in previous years, where it was very, very static, uh, you know, they're just kind of locking arms and, and shoving each other. And then, you know, over here, we've got pretty much the same thing happening. They're just locking arms and dancing with one another. But, you know, we do have some much better animations this year of players actually struggling. You know, there's a good double team block where the defensive lineman actually goes to the ground instead of letting himself be driven back so that he doesn't lose ground, you know, make a pile because it's hard for a running back to run through a pile. You know, this looks good. So there are some examples of some, some really good uh, blocking animations in this game as well. It's not all bad. You know, this right here is a tolerable replacement for the, you know, turning around, you know, the little cut block from the side. You know, there's a little bit of motion shifting going on to make it work. But that's much more tolerable than watching the defensive lineman actually turn around to engage the blocker.
Got an example here of a defensive lineman splitting a double team. You know, this is a running play, obviously, because double team blocking doesn't exist in passing plays in this game. You know, this looks good. I like this. 